Welcome this week for another awesome time of prayer on Freedom One. This is Hearing God, uh, one of my little things that I do. Um, and I just give thanks to the Lord um, for those in the U.S. We're doing the whole Thanksgiving thing. And uh, being the time of the week that it is in, um, my family an extended family it's like been spread out over like three days so it's like uh, it's nice because it's not so rushed but at the same time it's like three day three days of eating <laughs> so I can't help but you know during this time um, I'm just like wow I'm so so blessed at the plenty that we have you cannot sit there and eat all this food and not think, wow, um, how blessed that we are. Um, it's really a, a humbling thing to, when you really sit there and think about it. So we just uh, come before you, Lord Jesus, and we just thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would guide this today, that you would direct it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that your your body has needs. And you send forth your laborers into the harvest. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for using us. We thank you, Lord God, for calling us to pray for each other to uphold each other, to exhort each other, to encourage, and you just receive all that your Holy Spirit has to do that through us and for us as well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your fire. Your fire. Okay, let's start this thing. So, um, I have been praying, uh, uh, adding a prayer request um, off and on for a brother in the Lord that um, was needing direction. And, uh, you know, regarding job and just a, a few things. And um, there's kind of a praise with that. Um, you know, the, the Lord has, has really been stretching him. And uh, he just kind of realized that um, God was calling him and showing him what to do. But it's just that sort of a stretch where it's kind of hard, you know. And so he just, he kind of realized that the Lord was showing him anyhow. And he was kind of running away a little bit. Um, but um, we all kind of do that with the hard things, don't we? So I just want to thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he recognized that. And that he is walking in obedience. And that he is doing the hard things. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that you guide and direct his every step, whether it's to the left or to the right. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that your hand is upon him and that you have mighty works to do through him. I thank you, Lord God, that you would uh, continue to encourage him, continue to show up in the night watch and give him direction, show him uh, what he is to do. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you would reveal uh, all those hard things that you would have him do. And I thank you, Lord, that he's the man for the job. I thank you, Jesus, that you sought him out and you chose him for that specific thing and that he's being obedient and doing it. Thank you, Lord God. Bless him, bless him, bless him, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, and thank you for the encouragement he is to all of us. Um, all right. Okay, um, and Beth uh, messaged me a little bit ago 
she said that she was looking for some information on speaking in tongues and she found my one video on YouTube. Uh, she said that she prayed constantly and fasted for three days and then within six days she was praying and she received the gift. So praise God. Um, thank you Lord Jesus for Beth. She's now asking for um, some prayer. Obviously that's exciting, that's awesome, but she knows there's more, praise God. <laughs> so she wants, she wants growth in her prayer language, um, prayers for understanding. Of course she would love to translate uh, the gift of interpretation. Uh, she wants that boldness to step out in faith, um, to bind fear, timidity, and doubt. Amen. Um, that's all part of the refining process. That's part of, of Beth's job to do. But we do uh, agree with her on that. And she also asks that she may be led to understand and receive even greater gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so all of us are chiming in because we're like, I want that too. <laughs> so we'll all agree. And we all want growth in our prayer language. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Beth's heart. Thank you that she is so hungry for you, Lord Jesus. You will withhold no good thing from her. Thank you. Jesus honors you, Beth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as she asks. She wants to grow in interpretation. She wants to understand. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that this is a prayer language where you move through us, but that you invite us to go deeper so that we take part of your heart through all this. So, Lord Jesus, along with Beth, we all ask for that, Lord Jesus. We want to grow, and we want to go on with you. Pour forth your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. And renew the face of the earth. Lord Jesus, I, re I agree with her, Beth's um, desire for boldness. Her desire to step out in faith. Indeed, we do bind fear and timidity and doubt. We bind you in the mighty name of Jesus, and Beth does also. You have no place. We place you beneath the footstool of Jesus for judgment. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as she steps out, as she steps out in boldness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your good stretching of us. Thank you, Lord, that you call us to do the uncomfortable things that are opposed to the flesh. We receive, we receive those tasks, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that you would grow us into a, a beautiful thing that you call us to be for your kingdom. Amen. All right. See, doesn't that make you feel all happy? Boy, I just feel all kind of joy all over me over that. That's awesome. I love the good testimonials. All right. Um, Precious Jewels, she asked, please pray for me. In my home, I get stressed or anxiety due to some family issues. Um, please pray I can have peace during the times of no money. Um, I will, I am praying God will provide and help my family members come to God, but I long to draw closer to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'll call her PJ. <laughs> Precious jewels. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we know that worry, we know that worry and fear and anxiety is opposed to your truth because you promise you promise to care for us and protect us. So, Lord Jesus, we all just we repent of those times where we haven't trusted in you, um, where we've uh, 
we've been afraid to be stretched. So, Lord Jesus, we just repent of that, and we just ask uh, that you would just wash that over like it never were. And we thank you that you present us holy and blameless before Father God. Indeed, for PJ, we, we uh, bind up spirits of stress and anxiety in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus for judgment. You have no place. You have no place. There is nothing to worry because she is completely in the arms of Jesus. We even place her family. She has no, she doesn't have to be concerned about them. We place them in your arms, Lord Jesus. And we declare that uh, you will guide them and grow them in your perfect timing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you call her to water, to plant seed, but... Uh, that that spirit of patience would flood over her. Mumaratib and forbearance and love and peace. Lord God, we just pray for all of our extended family. We pray for their salvation. We pray, Lord Jesus, that when everything's all that um, we can be a calm place for them, a, a rock for them, and not to, to uh, mirror uh, what's around us. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your hand upon all of our finances. And there be no lack. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just as you feed the birds of the air, that you do indeed take care of us. Thank you, Jesus, for that. We thank you. And we just commit all of our family members into your hands. And we, and we declare you are our all sufficient one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Continue to draw all of us to you. Amen. Okay. Um, Philippians 3 8 uh, had a quick update on um, the uh, family member uh, that had the, the baby. Um, the baby has been born a preemie but doing great the mother and father are doing well thank you for your prayers um the baby's name is jack um he is in intensive care so uh we can just agree and uh, pray for little baby jack that uh indeed that there is no lack especially um with any developmental uh, we just declare that the lungs, everything, every part of the body, the heart, everything has formed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just place baby Jack in your arms. We just bind up any anxiety felt from the parents during this time. We speak peace instead. Peace over baby Jack. We bind up fear in the name of Jesus. And Philippians 3 8, when you're around baby Jack, you pray that too. Um, I feel like um, there's a transference, especially from the father, um, that anxiety. And so. Um, Call that stuff down now <laughs> while he's a little guy. Bless that household. Bless him, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, happy farmer needs to sell a house 
and a new job. Um, he's been kind of looking for the job thing, and he's he's still at a job, but uh, you know he wants to move on to something better, and so feeling out the waters there, and just hasn't snagged something yet. But we do in indeed agree for something that is um, workable with his uh, family situation, and it's also better for his for him physically. So he's uh, not uh, doing things that will aggravate uh, or injure. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are ordering his steps. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he won't have to miss this job. And just ask, Lord Jesus, that your will be done regarding his job search and that it feel right, that it just fall right into place for him. We also speak about this house that needs to sell. Everything that he touches is blessed and prosper. That this house is not a dead weight, is not a curse, but will sell, and will sell as a blessing, and, and not uh, to a huge detriment to his finances. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that this house is just perfect for someone out there. I just ask, send forth your, your uh, angels to find that person that this house is perfect for. Thank you, Jesus. We speak life into everything that he sets his hands to. Bless his farm. Bless all of his animals. And enlarge his tent post, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Chocolate Chip is asking, prayer needed for a mutual friend with severe back problems, displaced disc, disc or worse, degeneration. It's excruciating pain. Okay. Okay, Chocolate Chip, if you could stand in for this mutual friend and just place your hands on your back uh, where that pain is for, for your friend, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for my sister upholding her friend. We speak to their back in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak life, regeneration, and alignment. Bring forth your heat and your power, Lord Jesus. We call forth that back and all the muscles to strengthen in the mighty name of Jesus. Pain, we bind you in the name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus for judgment. Because you have no place here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That she may testify to the glory of God and your healing power. Call that healing forth in the name of Jesus. Discs that command you to go into place. Be perfect as he is perfect. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay. Well you keep us posted on that. Did you feel it did you feel anything when you were praying? Let me know. <laughs> I'll keep going. Um We'll, we'll do a prayer for Gabriella, who is drifting and being targeted for reversion. 
And I'm taking it uh, that uh, Andy gave me this. Um, I'm taking it that this is um, uh, kind of a version from being baptized in the Holy Spirit kind of push. Um, people are saying, oh, that's passed away. Is that kind of what it's like? They're kind of talking her out of it. Oh, Islam. Okay. I couldn't remember which person it was. Mmm. <laughs> Jesus, I thank and praise you that the prayers of the righteous avail much, and we do indeed cover Gabriella. We bind up the enemy. We shut the mouth of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you go forth with swords drawn to cut the lies of the enemy from her. He says, remember your first love. So if, if it can be reminded of her what she felt in the beginning, what she knows in the beginning to be true. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We place Gabriella in your hands, Lord. We place her in your hands with confidence, Lord Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would send her those that have um, come to know Jesus from, from Islam that she can be supported by and knows what she's going through, that understand the attack that she is going through, that they could be there for her to support her and encourage her and guide her into your truth, Lord Jesus. I ask, Lord Jesus, that your most Holy Spirit would inflame her prayer time. Thank you, Jesus, that you are so tender and so loving towards her. We speak strength, strength and endurance into her. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that not one shall be lost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your daughter, Gabriella. Bless her, Lord Jesus. Hmm. I feel so uh, for her. Hmm. It's heavy. That whole um, Islam thing is so heavy. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, Aaron wants the baptism in the Holy Spirit with evidence of tongues. And for prayer regarding a desire to get past sins and to go on into purity. Um, and, and regarding that, um, uh, I did a video where I was just reading from the works of Smith Wigglesworth, um, some of his sermons. And it's called Repentance Required to Receive Baptism in the Holy Spirit. And... Um, in it, it kind of talks about how um, you know there's things you know. You know, if you know you have sins, and there are things that are kind of in the way, um, then it, it's kind of like you you gotta really address those things and get right with God uh, regarding it uh, to really go forth, to go onward. 
Um, and it's funny because I did this, um, I did a, a video called Spiritual Tips um, Bible Study for Boys. And it talks about in Galatians chapter 5, you know, it talks about the different um, bad fruit things. And so um, I find it helpful um, to really, um, you know, if you know you have issues, to really study, to really get inside out what is, what are my problems, and to really dig them out. And then the opposite of that, what are the good things I'm, that the Bible says I'm supposed to have, to really understand that inside out as well. Um, so I have this video, but I will try and play that right now, just a little short bit, and then I'll, I'll get back on here. Because um, it's, it's kind of helpful, and it's really funny because um, they're like showing a bunch of Star Wars um, movies this weekend. My son was in there watching them, and I said, hey, that's funny. I said, do you remember that video that I did? Remember when we did a Bible study? And he said, no. And I said, well, pfft. I'm going to have to remind you. I guess it's been a couple of years, so I have to do it with them again. So anyhow, let me um, flip over to this, and we'll watch a little bit, and then I'll come back. My eldest wanted to start watching the, the uh, Star Wars series. Well, by the time I got done watching the first one, the Lord popped into my mind about Galatians in Galatians 5. You know, it talks about the fruits of the Spirit, and to watch Anakin there. And so... By the time we got done with the, the third one, uh, we were all ready for a study. Because by the third one, evil became evil fully. So it's like, it was kind of cool that we could watch this go through and then present this Galatians study. So here I am at dictionary.com, and I want to show you what I did. I used a lot of tabs. And uh, I did all of those elements in, from Galatians 5. Um, and you see, there's the first one. Now, obviously, some of this is going to be more difficult to explain to the kids. So you, you'll be going on a dictionary uh, trail. But the thing is, is once you can get it in their head to understand the concept of what all of these, these things are, and then have them apply, apply uh, through the life of Anakin Skywalker. Uh, I remember we were talking about the jealousy. Well, what moment was their jealousy? Uh, you remember in the in the third movie when uh, uh, Anakin and Obi Obi Wan su suddenly appeared out of the ship. And uh, Padme didn't know about it. Well, suddenly there was jealousy there. Um, obviously, there's just all of these elements that you see over and over again. Uh, the, the factions with the whole Republic versus the Separatists and all of these things. This is a really good uh, study to use with the first three in this series. And the kids love it. Uh, they really, it really sinks in. Uh, so, and then obviously, after you go through these, then you, then you go through, you know, what are the good attributes? And getting them to realize, you know, that the, all of these things are the opposites of all of those bad fruits. Okay, so that's kind of like, um, you kind of get the gist of it. Um, sometimes when we're reading the Word... Um, We'll see a word, and we kind of know what it is, but we don't really know. And so when you really dig in and really begin to uh, look it up and see it in a sentence and then uh, think about your own life, it's like, oh, that's what that means. Um, emulations. Um, some, some versions of the scriptures uh, say emulations is one of them. Well, what is that? I mean, you might kind of mm, maybe know, but it's in the if you look in the dictionary, it says effort or desire to equal or excel others. It's associated with jealousy and rivalry. 
Um, do you see that in the church? Yeah, you do. Variance, um, dissension, it's, it's a strong disagreement, uh, discord, quarrel. I mean, there's a really a lot there, and we can really certainly begin to dig into self-examination with this stuff. Um, you know, murders, drunkenness, that stuff's the easy stuff. I mean, sometimes we don't really think about, well, what is strife? You know, if, if I'm having problems with somebody, you know, regarding um, Aaron, you know, wanting to get past those sins, you know, just really just examine, examine, examine. And um, as, as your heart desires, I mean, you want to be holy and pure before God. You want to be in his will um, because when you're in his will, you're perfectly protected. You are um, operating in his power. Um, everything's great, right? So that's the place we want to be. So um, a lot of it is first, you know, looking at yourself and um, saying, okay, I understand what conforming to Christ is. Um, I really want to know more of God and what He, what He is. Um, and as I like to say, is um, you know, because those things aren't in heaven. When we co we're conforming to Christ, it's because we want to be where He is. And if those things aren't there, then now's our time to um, to get ready. You know, we're getting ready. So, um, Aaron. Uh, we will pray for you, the baptism in the Holy Spirit uh, with the evidence of tongues. And we, we will agree with you. Um, and we will ask the, the Lord God uh, and you, you as well. Uh, ask what are those things that hinder you? What are those sins, those little things that um, block you? Be holy as He is holy. We speak your holiness over Aaron. Thank you for all the things that He does for you, Lord Jesus. But he does suffer a lot of attack because he does indeed need your power. He needs your powerful Holy Spirit to be able to block the enemy. He recognizes that. So we invite you in, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Aaron. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. That you are bringing him forth. Into the greatest times of his life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are equipping him. He has taken many blows. But now, with the baptism of your most holy spirit, it is much different. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That you would even guard him in the night watch. You will protect him. Thank you, Jesus, as he calls out your name. That the enemy falls. That the enemy is exposed utterly. Thank you, Jesus. May be exposed by the brightness of your coming. Your Holy Spirit birthed within. Thank you, Jesus. And Andy, Andy said, in case you're watching this um, on video, uh, full agreement, awesome times ahead, no barrier, no barrier stands. Amen. 
that a chicken or pane pakara pakara. All right. We are going to pray for Millie, who's in Israel. Um, bless her, Lord Jesus. She's going to school in Israel. The Lord just opened it up for her. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, Baba Shukinebaga, for our sister that is in your holy city. Baba Kina Kona Bakedebaka Baka Shukinebake. Baba Kenebaka. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just send forth your angels to surround her and protect her, that she would lack no uh, uplifting thing to be drawn into your presence, Lord Jesus. I thank you, praise you, Jesus, that you would just bless her. Bless her schooling. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for your spirit who dwells within her and that she can be that light to all whom uh, she is around. Thank you, Jesus. And indeed, in the larger scope of things, we pray peace for Israel. Thank you, Jesus. We speak life and healing to the land. Restoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you draw the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. Bless your holy people, Lord Jesus. Come to them in the night watch. Come to them in the day. And speak your boundless love to them. That they may know. Baba Kipika, without a doubt, who you really are. Thank you, Messiah Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Alright, let's pray for James. Thank you for my brother James. I just ask Lord Jesus for your spirit to flood him. We speak to organic brain dysfunction. And we don't receive you. Sorry. We speak life and health. We speak a perfectly functioning brain. Cast down any uh, ill words from the doctors in the mighty name of Jesus. And we speak life, abundant life over James. Thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. We bind up attack in the name of Jesus. Payback, you have no place within James. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace upon him. Amen. There is no time that brain is as it was before the attacks. This is God's reality. Amen. Andy. Thank you, Jesus. We seal that in the mighty name of Jesus. It is reality. Okay, Robbie asked for for um, pray that God heal me from my backsliding. I want to focus solely on Him. Um, so we'll pray for that right now. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that He recognizes. Recognizes uh, not being all things in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 
I thank you, Lord Jesus. We just agree that you would bring him to true repentance, Lord Jesus. That your Holy Spirit, when uh, the backsliding stuff starts to come up, those issues, those areas of weakness start to come up, that your Holy Spirit conviction would flood over him. And that he would choose this day whom he would serve. And it would be you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit conviction. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you so care for us. We agree. We want you to be his sole focus. Thank you, Jesus, that he has that desire. Bless him in all things, Lord Jesus. Bless him, Lord Jesus. Okay, strength and determination to pass his classes this semester. We did a prayer last week for those in college, and we just say amen to that. We just build on that. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We know the spirit that is over the educational institutions. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for a firm focus on what lies ahead. That he can stand, stand, stand for you. And that he can press on because of the desire that you've placed in his heart that he will get this education and that everything will be brought forth to fruition because of that initial desire that you placed within him to do this in the beginning. So I thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. And Robbie also would like prayer for his brother who is having suicidal thoughts. And we know that is indeed a spirit. So, uh, Robbie, do agree with us. Um, when it's a spiritual thing like that, we bind it from operation. We bind up suicide now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. And we do, therefore, call upon your most holy spirit, Lord Jesus, your angels, to surround him and minister to him. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that the prayers of the righteous avail much. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that Robbie does care for his brother. And we just ask, Lord Jesus, that your angels would move on his behalf. Jesus, that you would surround him and protect him. That you would send forth your labors into the harvest to, to be there to mentor him and to hear his hurts and things that have let this spirit in and to give him focus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for life. We speak life, life over Robbie's brother in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <sighs> Alfred has some questions. He has a lot of questions. <laughs> I'll try and do as many um, as it can get through. Um, I would like to say if anybody else has any prayer requests, do text them in or email to info at hearinggod.tv and we will get them. I can take breaks in between questions and... Uh, get those in um, but um, his first question he asks he would like to ask about righteous judgment for example a person in the office that you see every day but you don't know him that much always does right things for years and then suddenly you find out that he has done one wrong thing can that person be called unrighteous for committing a single mistake Jesus said we can make judgment but it must be a righteous judgment but if you don't know the person's whole life how can you make a righteous judgment based only on the things you see 
on him. Okay, well, we, I, I played, um, I can't remember what week it was, but I played that one video called Salvation in the Wedding Garment as we ended one of our, um, as I ended one of these prayer sessions. And that kind of really answers it. Um, so I will definitely be telling Alfred to look at that. Um, but let's, let's look at um, David. Psalm 51. Uh, I have a video, um, Psalm 51, Bible Promises Spoken. And uh, in the descriptions, I have a little thing. Um, look at the life of... Oh, that's actually in the Salvation in the Wedding Garment video. I have this quote, and I just want to read it to get along with this quicker. <laughs> uh, I say, look at the life of David, who had a heart after God. He made some really bad mistakes, but he repented and then did not fall and do those same big sins again. To really appreciate what it is to screw up big, but then have a heart after God, check out Psalm 51. It's David's very cry and return to the Lord from a bout of grievous sins, including covetous, covetousness, adultery, deceit, and murder. I mean, when you look at that, that's some pretty big stuff. And yet, God said he has a heart after me. You know, a heart after God. That's some, that's some pretty... That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> so, you know, if you, if you look at this, the whole righteous judgment thing, you know, yeah, if, if a brother in the Lord falls, something's wrong, you know, what are we to do? Um, you know, it's a good thing for us to correct and say, hey, you know, because we can save them, right? Uh, if we stand by and do nothing... <laughs> It's woe to us, right? We can't let them, you know, go down a path. But when a brother in the Lord screws up, we just follow the Matthew 18, 15 through 17 method, uh, which is basically if your brother sins, go and show him his fault in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. Generally, most things pretty much stop there because if they really do have a heart after God, they'll be like, oh, you know, sometimes this, the sin is blinding. Or a parable, you know. Um, that's that's what David got, right? Nathan had Nathan had to give him a parable, and then whoa, then then he could see what he did, and then oh my goodness, did he repent big time right then and there. So, if that doesn't work though, if he doesn't listen to you, take uh, one or two more with you so that the, by the mouth of two or three witnesses every fact may be confirmed you know and and on and on but basically you know you you do you do the second bout because you're not you're not saying hey I'm not pointing at you really you know here somebody else confirm what I'm saying and they'll say hey yeah that's that's a sin you need to repent blah blah, blah. so anyhow um that's kind of like that little question thing, okay? So, um, some good videos there. You can check them out. Um, now, an another question. I heard this from a pastor that the Jehovah Witnesses will not be saved. Do you have any idea why? <laughs> um, the biggest stuff is it just it denies the deity of Christ. Uh, his physical resurrection and salvation by grace. And it's just non-Christian. It's not Christian. <laughs> um, and to support its airing doctrines, um, the whole Watchtower organization, um, you know, it's an organization. You know, it's like a cult. Um, it's even altered their own little Bible uh, to make it agree with its changing and non-Christian teachings. <laughs> so, you know, in Revelations 22:18, if you, it's 
I am warning everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If you add anything to them, God will add you to the plagues told about in this book. If you take any words away from this book of prophecy, God will take away from you your share in the tree of life. He will also take away your place in the holy city. Um, you know, a big example of their changing of scripture is... Um, the, the Gospel of John, it says, In the beginning the Word was, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. So they changed it and put a God in there. <laughs> and what is that doing? That is saying, oh, there's lots, we know there's lots of gods, but it's demeaning the deity of Christ. It's big time. Um, uh, what are the, all the other translations say the word was God you know so